Um, you know, we, we, know, we know what they got up front. They're a good D-line. Um, and I think for us, the biggest thing is staying out of third and long, you know, and, and not letting their pass rushers tee off on us. So keep it in third and manageable and being able to, to go out and, and, and execute um, when we need to and, and um, you know, convert, convert third downs and, and, you know, stay ahead of the chain is going to be big. Much is made of, obviously, their pass rush and what now Chase Young, Young brings to the, the mm -hmm. group with Bosa. Do you, are those the kind of the matchups you look forward to to kind of challenge yourself? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we get, we get, there's good pass rushers all across, all across the league, you know, and, and um, I think for me and Luke, you know, it's, 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 it's obviously going to be a big test. And, um, you know, they're, they're, they're incredible pass rushers, but, um, you know, like I said, you know, it's, it's going to help us staying out third and long, you know, being productive on first and second down. Um, and definitely going to slow them down if we can, if we can, you know, keep in third and short, get, get some quick game, go, you know, go jump set them, go, go change it up a little bit instead of just letting them, you know, run through our face. So, um, yeah, it's going to be fun. What has Rashad been to this offense and just his receiving abilities? He leads the league among running backs in the last four games yeah. in receptions and, and, and yards. Um, no, Rashad's huge. I mean, when, when he gets the ball out there, you know, he's, we know how shifty he is. Like, you know, that, what we had, like a 43-yard screen the other day? That was, that was incredible. I don't know, last time we had something like that. Um, but being able to get him the ball and, and, and watch him do what he does is, is great. How do you kind of build off of last week into this week? Hopefully just take that momentum. Um, and let it carry over. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a weird, you know, the travel day's weird, um, long flight. So just, you know, staying on top of stuff and, and, and make sure your recovery's good. Um, make sure you're feeling great. And then, you know, going out there and, and, and uh, getting things fired, fired up fast. Have you made the plea yet to uh, Dave Canales to run the ball? No, I haven't. I think that got shut down pretty quick. Um, <laughs> I saw something, something Coach Bowles said. He's like, yeah, we ain't, nobody's going to block for him. I was like, I see how it is. We might, they might give Luke something. Luke's, I don't know, Luke played tight end in college, so they think he can catch better than me for some reason. I'd like to see you and Vita in the backfield, maybe. That's what I saw. I saw it on Twitter. Um, that would be scary. I don't know who's going to stop that. You know, <laughs> Just get, get our feet churning and go. Coach Bowles said he was wondering when you got the ball and you were running. He said the first thing he was wondering was what type of uh, touchdown celebration you would have. Oh, I'm punting it. I'm punting. <laughs> I'm punting it out of the stadium. That was like we had like a pact in college. Um, all the line, like if any of us scored, we're going to punt it. So just as hard as you can. So that was that's 100 what I was going to do. Dave said you came off the field tired. You're out oh my breath. gosh, <laughs> I needed that TV timeout bad. I was gassed. That was that was terrible. When it comes to the travel schedule, you mentioned. You know, going to California. What are some of the things that you do to make sure that everything's right? And, you know, making sure that your health's still there and different durations. All that. Um, just kind of trying to keep the blood flowing in your legs on the flight. Like you know, we got those little firefly things. This make your muscles like twitch or something. I don't know. I do what they tell me to do. Um, <laughs> and then we, we're gonna have like a bike flush when we get there. So right when we land, you know, go in the go with the strength staff and and get everything moving, just so you're not tightening up. I guess I don't know. That's what I, I don't know. That's what they told. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna pass out. Um, but no, me and me and Hainsey have a little thing. Like we go stand in the back of the plane and chat, just hang out. Um, so we'll probably, we'll probably do that. Chris, I want to ask you. We're doing a side story with uh, Luke, uh, just about your experience with him on the boat fishing uh, during this off season. Oh my gosh, Luke, Luke loves fishing. I've never seen anybody fish more than him. Um, if, if you guys don't know, him and um, Julio Jones have a very good relationship. They went fishing like almost every day. Um, but no, Luke's incredible. He kind of he kind of bamboozled me a couple times this summer because I'm like, I want to go fishing with you, but I don't want to go on like an all day trip. And he's like, he's like, no, we won't, we won't. It'll be quick. And yeah, I'm like, all right, well, tell me I'm gonna pick you up. Um, 4 a.m. <laughs> okay. Um, but no, it, like Luke loves fishing. It's so fun being out there. You know how knowledgeable he is, and and it's just it's just fun fun to be out there with him. How good is he at it? Really good. It's. Like I like like bass fishing like in a pond. He's like he knows like it's some some will be like t ten feet down there. He's like oh that's a oh sorry he's like that's a whatever. I'm like how do you I can't even see it. Like he's he's like he's a he's a real fisherman. Any funny adventures out there? Bizarre things that happen. I don't know. I've gotten seasick with him like four times, <laughs> and he because he's like he's like no it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a good day. I'm like, All right, and that's terrible. I'm throwing up. And he's just <laughs> laughing at me. <laughs> no, it's fun going. I love going with him. Tristan, we saw Vita come off the edge and get a sack the other day. Um, yeah, that I'm telling you right now, that ain't fun blocking Vita in a five so technique. You see a guy in a five like that. I mean, how tough would that be for him? It's ter it's terrible. I did it. I did it last Thursday, in two minute, and I was like, I can't. And we had, they had a wide three technique too, so I couldn't like go jump him if they ran a game. That's the worst thing. I felt bad for that guy. That was, I was like, just good luck, pal. That's that's all I can say to that. That's terrible.
Oh, yeah. I mean, we don't know how impressive Vita is. Year. What, what year is this for you? Five, six? What year is this for you? No, it ain't. No, it ain't. But no, yeah, it was, it's, it's, it's impressive. And it sucks as a tackle when he comes out there. We've seen the uh, 49ers use Trent Williams in, in motion mm -hmm. last year. Is that something you want to do yourself, even trying to get the, the offense to do? I haven't been getting – I haven't tried to get that. That's insane. Trent, I mean, Trent Williams, like, he's a freak of – like, he was built in the laboratory. That, that's I, – I loved, I loved Trent. He's an incredible person, That, but he was built in the laboratory. You know, the stuff that he does is insane.